Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So hopefully everyone enjoyed the towel rack stream. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to recover from this. Um, but we got some awesome reviews. Um, I say reviews, um, reveals should I say. Um, when it mainly came to the Space Marines and the Necrons. Stuff that we expected really. Um, when it comes to like, the Necron monolith. And um, of course that trailer you just seen then with the brand new Gladiator tank. Which I absolutely bloody love um but there's more to talk about because um even though we are getting new codexes there's a big shake-up coming with the codexes we had a little video at the end showing some um new models and everything like that so let's just jump in and just let's get talking about everything that was shown off today so let's just stay on the topic to the tank and let's just you know keep on with that and get this one out of the way first um so this is amazing i absolutely love this design i love that it has multiple weapon options and um, it does say here based on the chassis of the impulsor the gladiator is a fast flexible battle battle tank that provides deadly fire support in any chosen flavor you wish you just saw the gladiator valiant a short-ranged armor hunter that uses twin las talons and um, multi-melters to scrap armor and heavy infantry alike now some of the other ones we have here it says that is just one of the trio of gladiators take the gladiator reaper this tank is the ultimate infantry killer using the tempest bolters and twin heavy onslaught gatling cannons to blend your foes battle lines you can see the big cannons that I have at the top. Um, I actually do love like like the dual main um, weapon things at the top. This is this is what I really wish they would have did with the heavy laser destroyer um, on the executioner tank. So I like how they've like took the design and they've actually put it on there. Um, and the last one it says um, you could also build a gladiator lancer, an anti tank sniper that's ideal for chewing through your opponent's most durial war machines and monsters. It says add, add tactical flexibility to your battle company or field them alongside repulsors, repulse executioners, and impulsors. Now the one on that gladiator lancer, I actually think that is a heavy laser destroyer. So that is what you can take on every, um, an executioner tank, and I love my heavy laser destroyers as an Imperial Fist, because for because what you don't know, well, for those of you who probably do know, if you don't move or move within half inches of it, um, you can actually fire it twice. Now, I'm not too sure that is going to be happening with this Gladiator stuff, um, but maybe it can, and if it is that, then um, hopefully it's cheaper, that means I can field more heavy laser destroyers on the battlefield and bring, you know cheaper uh, tanks to it and that means more models and more purging and more glorious stuff that goes with it and um, but i love the tank i love it all it looks like it has some transport capabilities because um in the video it had a little door on the back so i'm wondering if it's got to be like the impulsor where you can go forward and like dump all your troops out and they can still fire and stuff because that's one of the things that the impulsor has and um, but i'm really really excited um awesome looking tank awesome looking design um and i'm sure we're going to see some more variants based like this um coming soon and when it comes to the Necron stuff, um, we have the new monolith shown off. Um, it looks great. I actually really like this. I like that it's actually on a base now and stuff. And it probably floats and you can move it around and everything like that. One of the things I actually noted on stream that this looks like an absolute bastard to paint. Um, so um, if you are a good painter, then, you know, my thoughts and prayers are with you on this one. Um, it looks like it's got some black stone in it and everything like that. Um, pretty cool. Wasn't really that much shown off the Necrons. I expected a little bit more. I expected that little guy who was, who was actually hid behind um, this, this monolith, you know, on the big image. Um, to make an appearance, but you yeah, know, this is this is all really that we actually got um, um, for the Necrons. Um, now, before we go into the last bit, um, which is um, um, all the models that were shown off in the trailer, I want to speak about the new codexes or co codexes, whatever you want to bloody call them, because um, not only are they coming out in October, this is the Space Marine one and the Necron one. Um, there's some new things happening for the Space Marine stuff and uh, when it comes to the Blood Angels, Dark Angels they're actually getting folded into the main Space Marine Codex now so um, uh, let's jump in and let's have a little talk about that so um, the official text says the new Codex Space Marines will replace the current Space Marine Codex as well as the first founding Death Watch Codexes making it an invaluable tomb a tome, sorry not tomb <laughs> this is this is no mine, it's a tomb um, that covers um, all the elements common across the forces of the Space Marines a literal codex to start is i actually like that and um, plays using chapters covered in the latest space marine codex can carry on using their expansions with uh, the book uh, white scars imperial fist iron hands ultramarine salamanders raven guard and black templars using their codex expansion in the psychic awakening series for fans of dark angels space wolf blood angels and death watch doesn't mention gray knights here by the way and um, if you have one of these armies good news not only do you get a new shiny core codex with loads of new toys to play with but you also have a new codex supplement on the way you'll be able to tailor your space marine force to fully embody the theme and spirit of their chapter and of course include all their unique um, units and hero 
Euros. Um, so what it's basically so what it's basically saying is that it's it's more or less getting folded into one big, big massive tomb. Uh, tome. Why do I keep calling it a, t a tomb? A tome um, of everything, which I like because that way, you know, I don't have to like bounce through all the codexes, but you will be still getting the supplements. And I think what's going to be happening now is that you're just going to be getting stuff that we got as an Imperial Fist, like um, um, a little bit of lore in there, um, some stratagems and stuff, and you're probably going to get a new model um, when it comes to these supplements being released. Now, it didn't mention on there, and I don't know if they mentioned it on stream because, of course, we were talking amongst ourselves. Um, I'm not too sure if like the Imperial Fist or White Scars or Ultramarines are going to be getting um, new supplements. But if they do, and I hope they do, that means, of course, we should be getting new models as well. So it'd be kind of nice to see um, what new models we actually get for um, those supplements. I'm going to say, for the Dark Angels, it's going to be Azrael. It has to be Azrael. He's as old as balls now. Um, Dante, for the Blood Angels, please let me Dante. I, I want to see Primaris Dante. I don't care what anyone says. Um, for Space Wolves... Um, I'm not too sure with Space Wolves. Um, Nigel Stormcaller, or N Nigel Stormcaller, as I like to call him. Maybe, you know, that could be something. For Death Watch, I don't know, maybe like a new Watchmaster that is a Primaris guy, or, you know, something badass um, um, like that. But the new codexes are coming in October. That's three months away now. Um, I'm sure we're going to have plenty of previews um, in between them um, before they're actually launched. There's still so much Necron stuff to show off. And, of course, um, there's so much Space Marine stuff to show off because... In the video, or in the trailer of showing this off, there was actually some Space Marine reveals. So I'm going to be showing these in the background right now. So the first one we're going to be looking at is this page. Now, we know some of the models already. We know that's the new Tech Marine. We know that's the new Chaplain. But look at the guy on the left in the Ultramarine colours. Now, to me, that looks like a um, a Gravis um, Captain. I, I, I think it's Gravis. Um, it, 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 it looks like a chunky boy. The reason I say Gravis is because you can see a little bit of a hood on him. It looks like he's got the Gravis helmet on him. The legs and the feet look very, very Gravis as well. But he's actually holding a bolt rifle. Now, I, I'm sorry, and he's got a power sword. It looks like he's about to take his power sword out. He's got this awesome looking cape. He's got the, like, the nice little you know loincloth between his legs. And the little symbol on his back. So this is why I think he's like something like a captain or something you know um, high, higher up. And um, you know when it actually comes to it. Um, but I've never you know read about um, like a Gravis guy or someone in Gravis armor with a bolt rifle it, it, it looks like a bolt rifle my my first thought was does it look like a gravis weapon but then it has like the little um, um barrel mag on it so i don't think it is a gravis weapon it may be like a combi weapon maybe it's like an underslung grenade launcher or something like that but it's really really interesting to see that we're getting new va variants now of gravis armor maybe we'll start to see start seeing like gravis lieutenants and um, gravis um and um, terminators gravis librarians and stuff because these are the, some of the characters that actually don't have um the Gravis armor now when it comes to it. But the model looks, I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love like he's reaching for his sword. I love the little um, overslung um, um, cloak on his shoulder. Brilliant. Absolutely made my day. Love this model. Can't wait to get my hands on it. And the next page, um, uh, as you can see, you've got the um, Lieutenant, you've got the Banner Bearer. Now, I think this is a Blade Guard. He actually says, look, Blade Guard Sergeant. Just, but you can just make out the text. But this is, um, it looks like a part of the new multi kit Blade Guard. Now, we've, we've spoken about this before about Blade Guard getting multiple pull kits um we've, we saw him a bit but some these are some of the new poses it seems now it looks like this guy is like completely like just pulled the sword out of his like scarab and he's holding it like two hands like he's like badass like moving forward um so and again that's another um little preview we actually got in the codex it looks incredible again another awesome little pose i can't wait to get my hands on these blade guard guys because they look absolutely just baller. I just, I, I just need him in my life ASAP. And right at the end, of course, we got um, um, a new reveal of what's yet to come for 40k. And we were all thinking it was going to be the land speeder at the end. It wasn't. Um, I saw like a Nurgle guy in there. Um, I saw Lily of Hesperix in there that a lot of people have been saying. Um, we saw like an orc, um, a Mechanicus guy in there. The orc stuff is really interesting because I'm wondering if they're going to be doing new boys or anything like that. I'd love new boys just to piss off Gung. Um, and uh, the end of it was showing like a, the full sister of battle. I wish they actually showed one of the Xenos rather than the sister models right at the end. Like a full-fledged, you know, 
know, like Orc model or the Lily F. Hesperix model, or even like the Mechanicus guy, you know, just to, to show off, because we just had like a massive range of sisters. There's me complaining about sisters, even though we just had all the Space Marine stuff. I know, I'm sorry. Right, that's me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. As always, please leave your thoughts, feedback, everything like that down below, and we'll have a nice little chat down there, as we always do. What do you think of the Space Marine Codexes, you know, getting folded all into one kind of thing? What do you think of the new Space Marine tanks, the new um, Necron Monolith, um, the models that were shown off at the end? Post it all down there, and we'll have a nice little talk, as we always do. See you now. Have a great day, and bye-bye.